Thank you for this interview. Yep. Could you please introduce yourself and your company? Okay. Uh, I'm Dice Haradar, a founder of Uniqlo.xyz. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I have seven years experience in digital entertainment field, like Walt Disney Company as a pro producer. After that, I established my first startup named Zabat. And we were running a C2C marketplace and people can sell and buy luxury fashions. After that, uh, our competitor, Mercury, very popular company. Yeah, they were, um, you know, uh, most successful startup in decades in Japan. Uh, they acquired us in 2017. And I have been a VP and a director of Mercury for six years. I see. Yeah. And 2022, I quit my job and I moved to Singapore from Japan and established this company. Yeah. And what does this company do? So we tokenize a real world asset collectibles, especially Japanese collectibles, like uh, Pokemon cards, mm -hmm. antiques, like Samurai Helmet. Very cool. <laughs> we make such physical items into you know, NFTs by yeah. using Ethereum network. Very, very cool. Um, so can you explain how this process works? All of the uh, items are storaged in our warehouse. And so we have a partnership with Japanese top tier at the warehouse at okay. Tokyo. Cool. So we store the physical items. Yeah. And basically, when uh, we touch the second hand items, just one professional checks the items. Oh, cool. Condition, how much is it? And sometimes they fail. Mm. So we like to solve that problem. So we are building a network of Japanese professionals. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I mean professional for watches, uh, trading cards, sneakers, who can, you know, authenticate the items. So in our network, uh, several professionals check the condition and the price and value. Uh, is there any damages or not? Is, it, is this counterfeit mm. fake items or not? So we match the result and we convert into uh, it NFT. So we think we are the safest marketplace in the world. After this item is tokenized into an NFT, um, what can the owner of this NFT do with that? So there are two ways. Basically, so most of the items are luxury and very expensive one, mm -hmm. and we are, you know, storage. So user can keep the item in our board. Ah. And because it's NFT, so you can, a uh, user can sell our I, NFT. I see, I see. Not only our marketplace, but also the other, you know, NFT marketplaces like OpenSea or the other one. And uh, it's NFT, so we tokenize a physical item. That means we make collaterals. Mm. So user can uh, use a lending protocols. So we have a partnership with a device. Very cool. So if they need to rent money by using uh, collaterals, yeah. so they can use and rent money and they can run uh, yield yeah. if they want. Right, uh, very, very cool. And also you can, you can sell and trade the item without having to move the physical thing here and there and, and keep it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, right? Like, so we make trust. Yeah, 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 that's, I, I, I really like that idea. And second, of course, it, the owner can get the items. So when they burn NFTs, so we uh, sip the item globally. Right, yeah. you can redeem the item. Yeah, so it's yeah. a, you know, marketplace, yeah. UX, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, that seems very smart to me because then also like, for example, this is obviously a big problem uh, for other marketplaces. If I buy like a, a pair of shoes mm -hmm. that I really, really want, um, I have to check to make sure that they're real. Uh, ones, but you've already done the work for that. So. Yeah, this UX from my experience. Yeah. So I was an uh, art collector. So when I started to you know collect the yeah. art, yeah. Uh, it's just, I realized 
it's not just an item, but asset. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Yeah. So, you know, I try to display some arts. <laughs> But my Japanese room was so, you know, small. <laughs> and I have a daughter, four-year-old daughter, and she started to attack the art. Yes. Exactly. So I realized we need to storage yes. the art more in you know, safe areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I find Japanese warehouse, art warehouse, and I try to use that. It's OK. It's super safe. My point is, uh, that's all. Just storage. Yeah. Mm. I'd like to show the art more, you know, for more my friend or something. And I want to check the design or line. Yeah. And it's not just an item, but asset. So I'd like to run it if we can. Yeah, of course, of course. So this experience is my original you know, uh, idea. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. It seems to address many uh, issues all at once. Mm. So we'd like to solve uh, collector's uh, problems yeah. by using uh, technologies. If a user is keeping uh, their item stored mm. uh, with you, do they have to pay uh, like a storage fee? Uh, actually, no. Oh, really? So our business model is when we the user generates transactions, we take a fee, transaction okay. fee a little bit, and we uh, estimate the, you know, storage fee inside the uh, transaction fee. I see. Yeah. Um, if, so for example, let's say a user uh, takes this NFT and mm -hmm. then puts it into um, like a lending protocol. Mm -hmm. Do you take a percentage of that or just the transact or just uh, the initial? In that case, we don't touch the transactions, oh, wow. so we don't take any fees. Okay. Very, very cool. Um, so what security measures uh, do you, does your company take to make sure that the, mm. the items are kept safe and, and not... Uh, it's very important. Yeah. You mean the physical security, right? Yes, yes, yeah. sorry, yes the <laughs> okay, physical okay. security, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Most of uh, expensive, super luxury rare items are stored at the, our partners at the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And the art warehouse is so secure. So the user has to authenticate, I think, over five times. Yeah. And if, you know, so Japan, there are many disasters. Yes. <laughs> yes. Earthquake, yeah. Yeah, physical, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. tsunami. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there are warehouse. They already have a lot of assets, mm -hmm. super nice assets. Yeah. So yeah, it's super secure. Yeah. Mm. So we are startup. We are very small, but they are very famous, top tier as well. So they keep item safety. This verification process. Mm -hmm. uh, can you expand a little bit on this? You said that you're trying to make a uh, like a network of different verifiers, like mm -hmm. uh, for watches, uh, rare art. Yeah, several shoes. categories. How does that How does that work? How How are you uh, making this network uh, of verifiers? It's, yeah, so we call the system proof of authenticity, mm -hmm. and we have our you know Git book openly. Yeah, but in detail case, uh, it depends on the items okay. because every item have the other operations. Yes, you know <laughs> basically right. So for example, if not super difficult one like antique helmet, samurai helmet, mm -hmm. or uh, watches, uh, but bags or Pokemon card, we use online. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if it's uh, the authenticator need to check the item physically, mm -hmm. so we invite the professionals into our warehouse or our office mm -hmm. and check the detail. Right, right, right. You know, so some watch have to you know open up and check inside. Yes. Antique is super complicated. I, I agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So for example, um, like a Pokemon card, mm. you would just take very high resolution pictures of them and then, mm -hmm. and then um, someone would verify that or you use like, a, there's different like, mm. um, uh, what's it called? People who grade them, like Beckett. Ah, the grade, yeah. Yeah, yeah, things if, like that. If the card has grading by, you know, PSA yeah, or PSA. CZC, yes, yes, yes. it's a little bit easy, okay. easier than the other one. Right. But basically, uh, about trading cards, the printing 
the quality of the printing is very important. Okay. Inks yeah. and papers. Right. So not only just uh, a picture, but we use, you know, a movie, the video, uh -huh. and show, like, you know, yes, 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 yes. right and right. holographic. We, we have professional for printings and YouTubers who, who are doing it. Oh, yes. Such kind of, of thing course, every course. day. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen so we some. network them. Right, 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 right. Oh, and cool. it's very interesting, but uh, each professional have each knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they find, uh, they mentioned basically, uh, if the company has just one professional, mm -hmm. uh, they, mis they make mistakes a lot mm. Mm, because it's not so easy. Right. Mm. They need many perspective, right? So yeah. we think about how many pers perspective or portion we need for the items, right? 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 Mm. So it's super difficult to share everything, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, it don't depends worry. on the item. And we know the how to check the uh, items, yeah, uh, by categories. Oh, that's so cool. Um, okay. Uh, some of the crypto details. Mm. This NFT is minted on where is this? Uh, now we are using Ethereum, uh, EVM based. Mm -hmm. So layer the, one on the main chain. Yes, uh, and Polygon. Okay, mm. and Polygon. And it's uh, ERC same to one. You said that uh, you're collaborating with some like lending protocols. Uh, yeah. For example, could, could you give me an example who, who you're collaborating with? Arcade.xyz mm -hmm. and some European startup uh, named. Unlocked, mm. yeah, and just are uh, unrelated device. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So sometimes we find them, sometimes they found us. Yeah. Mm. So maybe I'm wrong on this, but for example, the NFT could also just trade on an open market like OpenSea or. Uh, yes, because it's uh, ERC721. Yeah. Basically, user can list the NFT yeah. on the other marketplace. Right, yeah. But we have our, a few problems, you know, so we tokenize. Like Pokemon cards or Revit bags. Yeah. And I was working at Walt Disney Company, so yeah. I looked at IP ah, issues. Of course. So of course. in our NFT, we don't use their design or IPs. So we can uh, we check the legal in mm -hmm. Singapore, Japan, US. But uh, sometimes the platform like OpenSea or just ah, yes, right, 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 right. So they check the titles. So if the title Has includes Pokemon yeah, or something, something yeah, 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 IP things, uh, they block or they flag me. So yeah. it's on chain. But the proton sometimes, uh, you know, avoid to list. Are there any other like regulatory challenges or situations like that that, mm. that your company has had to um, uh, deal with? Mm, storaging, yeah. In Japan, Singapore, there are few difference. So we care about that. And it's second-hand items. Mm -hmm. So we need to get license, especially in Japan. Oh, really? Yeah. You have to get a license just yes. to sell second-hand items. Uh, when the, uh, people buy items from Japan and use it as business, uh, they need to get license. So wow. we have our subsidiary in Japan. And the Japanese company have a license to deal with second-hand items. Interesting. Yeah. I see. Um, <coughs> now your company is based in Singapore, and uh, obviously you have a lot of knowledge about Japan. Mm -hmm. Are you Asia focused right now, or are you uh, trying to? Ex um, no. Okay. So all the, all the items are from Japan by now, mm -hmm. because I have a you know connection with mm -hmm. Japanese people. Yeah. And there are many nice items. Yes. So we the first step is Japan. Right. But when we see the buyer side, it's uh, global. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. For example, in Singapore, mm -hmm. when the user, the buyer purchase uh, some luxury watches, uh, we have to do KYC. Mm. Mm. So in Singapore, the yeah, if we know yeah. the access from Singapore. Right, 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 right. So in that case, we check. So it depends on the, you know, uh, Business areas, so we need to follow the law. Yeah. Mm. What are What are your next steps uh, going forward? Okay. Uh, we start from marketplace style, mm -hmm. but now we realize uh, we have big potential to 
a tokenized item and make it collateral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe we focus on more fintech fintech side. Oh right. Yeah. Interesting. We'd like to make partnership with more uh, financial projects. All right. Yeah. Very very cool. All right. Well, thank you, Dice. That was great, and um, I I like I like this business model. I think there's a lot of potential, and uh, I wish you the best. Yes. Thanks. All right, Thanks so much, man. David. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.